is up ladies and gentlemen Lynn here with another unboxing for you all what we have for you today is the next book flex 9 it's an 8.9 inch quad core windows 10 2 in 1 tablet um, purchased this on sale at Walmart and uh, it's on sale it's a hundred and thirty dollar tablet on sale for about $69.99 a little bit about this tablet, uh, as I stated, it's Windows 10. It says that it's uh, ultra fast with an 8.9 inch high resolution 1280 by 800 IPS display with a detachable foldable Pogo keyboard with a standard USB 2.0 port. So this Nextbook Flex 9 comes with a quad core Intel Atom based processor for optimal performance and the latest Microsoft Windows 10 OS. Not only that, it has a touch, click, or type. You choose what fits your style and activity. All the great apps you need are in the Windows Store, plus, you can play Xbox games, music, and videos. This is really cool. Uh, with the 32 gigabyte of internal storage and um and the option to expand by micro sd card up to 64 gigs now i did buy purchase a 32 gigabyte micro sd card so i will be installing that into this tablet since it's expandable up to 64 gigabytes um what else so it says you can use skype the video chat take notes with office and get your photos and files anywhere with OneDrive. so this next book flex includes word excel powerpoint and OneNote apps optimized for the small screen and designed for work on the go so my understanding is you get one year of um this microsoft um word excel you know the little suite for free uh, I think it's Office 360, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, 1.83 gigahertz Intel Atom uh, Z373 5G quad core processor. Let's get this open. And uh, one gigabyte of DDR3 system memory. 8.9 inch touchscreen, built in Wi Fi and Bluetooth version 4.0, a rear 3 megapixel webcam, and a front 2 megapixel webcam. Actually, my bad, it's a rear 0.3 megapixel webcam and a front um, 2 megapixel webcam. Okay, let's go ahead and get these cut here. Not only that, uh, what else? I think I've went, I've gone over everything else. So basically, it's it's like a, it's a tablet PC, and this box is rather heavy. It's really heavy. Uh, let's take a look on the back. As you see here, I did get the one in purple. But from watching videos on this tablet, it has a soft touch finish. So I purchased a um, a skin that I will be putting on here once I receive it uh, in the mail. So I may do a video on that too of me actually putting the skin on. So here are the dimensions. Uh, weight is 1.97 pounds with keyboard it's it's rather heavy so i'm assuming you know that's with the box and all that other jazz um with it so sorry we're like almost five minutes into the video but i guarantee it we're going to get to the unboxing just want to go over some of this stuff back here again these are some things that i have gone over already you can read this information if you so choose other than that we'll go ahead and get in the unboxing Sure, that's in focus. I 
And again, this sucker is heavy. It is heavy. All right, what's here? We have the charging cable. Okay. And then here we have all your other little information things here. Uh, this is a sticker. Well, it feels like a sticker. No, it's not a sticker. It just feels like a sticker. So, yeah, there's some information there. Of course, we have the quick start guide here. And then we have the instruction manual. Now, some of these have actually have backlit keyboards, but the keys are not lit. It's just the everything, all the little space in between is lit. But um, I'm sure this is not one that have that information. I mean, you know, that uh, keyboard type. So let's take this out of the packaging. I've never had a tablet that was Windows 10. Um, I don't think I've ever even used Windows 10. So, and as you see here, it is real pretty and shimmery. If you can see that, all the little sparklies in it. It's really nice. I like it. And uh, so, yeah, this, guys, does not have that soft touch finish. I like that. I like that. Reason being is from what I have seen, um, those with the soft touch finish, no, not not really uh, good at all. Like people have complained and you can't clean it. And um, it looks really nice. It looks like a netbook. It's, it's that small. It looks like a netbook. So, uh, let's open this up. And I used to love my netbook when I had one. Oh my, it's kind of hard <laughs> to open. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and... So there we have it. It's tiny. It's real tiny. So, um... Let me go ahead and detach this. I think you just pull it off. There we go. Yes, you just pull it off. Magnets. Awesome. So I'm assuming there are some magnets that will attach um, to the keyboard down here on the bottom here. And then here are your contact points there. So just take a quick look around the keyboard. Uh, I mean the tablet. I really, like I said, like that it does not have that soft touch finish. It's just that pretty shimmery sparkly uh, finish to it so here we have your uh, 3.5 millimeter headset jack your um, micro um, micro USB port your micro HDMI port I'm assuming this is power your SD card slot uh, micro SD card slot um, the mic and then we have some um, volume rocker here as well as power. And then your uh, 0.3 megapixel camera here. I think that's the 0.3 megapixel camera. And then the 2 megapixel camera would be here. So, and then the keyboard. Uh, my understanding is this keyboard does not draw power um, from, it doesn't have battery, so it doesn't draw power. Oh my God, my head. I'm sorry, guys. I still have a migraine from Friday, and today is Sunday, so um, bear with me, please. But yeah, um, this does not draw power from any kind of a charging port. It draws power from the tablet itself. So just wanted to let you guys know that. And um, this is a what they call a pogo keyboard. I will have to look and research what in fact that means. But I ordered a skin for this um, not knowing not knowing whether or not this would have that soft touch finish. So, I'm glad to know that it doesn't, but I'm, I still may apply the skin because the skin is a uh, it's a wood grain finish. 
I just hope that it will cover the whole um, tablet so you don't see you know the purple bits coming through so but it's got some little rubber feet here on the bottom oh and it turned on I missed that uh, hi there so let's go ahead and see if we can reattach oh that was simple so those are some very strong magnets so yeah it looks really nice guys like really nice again I have never had a um, Windows 10 device better yet a tablet that supports Windows 10 so this is considered either the next book flex 8.9 or the next book flex 9 is what it says here uh, it's next book flex 8.9 on the website they also have an 11 um, and they you know go up from there but uh, yeah, I like the small form factor of tablets. Um, but yeah, I'm going to set this up. And yeah, let me know if you want me to do a review on this particular tablet. And uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys that, definitely. I will uh, also more than likely uh, write a blog as well. So I will link that in the description. Uh, once I do the review, that would be in the review description. Uh, probably as well as this description too once I write that but I need some time to spend with it so I can give you guys a thorough uh, review and uh, go from there so be sure guys to share these videos you do not know how much that helps the channel also please be sure to uh, comment if you so choose subscribe if you have not and uh, yeah, I'm still on the road to a thousand subscribers. You guys can make that happen. So this is Lynn, iPod One reviewer. And until next time, guys, take care and be safe.